Uh, hello, this is my uh, this is Shankar, and this is my series on my experiences on uh, predictive astrology in terms of combinations. Uh, now today, I'm going to talk about a combination uh, conjunction of Saturn and Moon. Shani or Chandra, dono agar saath ho to kya hota hai? And uh, Saturn is like a mountain, a pahar hai, or Chandrama pani hai. Pani or pahar na Chandrama is like the maidan mein jo pani hai. So that's how you have to see it. Ye kabi milte nahi hai. But that is, it is a misnomer that Saturn and Moon is always bad. But it is not a good combination. This is a zehrila combination. That you in your life, it will get zehr. It will it'll get poison to you in some way or the other. Uh, whether you are wealthy, whether you are a millionaire, whether you are a billionaire, it will create problems for you in life. Uh, the main thing which affects uh, what if Saturn and Moon together, the main one most important thing which it affects in life is happiness. And happiness is the key to everybody. So one thing which it affects, wherever it is, it will affect uh, your happiness. It is like uh, it's like a snake, which is unpredictable, and uh, it is poison, which is also unpredictable because you know moon is like water and the Saturn is poison. So it's like it's always poisonous to have this combination anyway. But it does not mean that uh, Saturn and moon together will always be bad. I mean Saturn and moon. In the um, in the second house, if you are religious, if you do good things, it'll give you money. Saturn and Moon in third house will give you inheritance. Saturn and Moon in fourth house will again give you uh, a lot of money. And but how it is used, that is the issue. Saturn and Moon in sixth, ninth is also not bad. It it can uh, give you uh, yeah, give you victory. It can give you fortune. It will give you wealth. And Saturn and Moon in twelfth house, you'll have kind of a uh, you will not uh, be much bothered about the wealth uh, which you have for yourself or others' wealth. You know, you will like, you will get a dam. You know that that is also you will have it, but you will not be very important. For, uh, not not very happy about it. Saturn and Moon uh, in the tenth house is uh, very unpredictable. In the sense, it will it will it will it will it'll pull you down. If you pull pull you down in your profession, if you earn money by the end of your life. Uh, you will be spending all your money. You will be uh, not having money. You will be like a pauper. Saturn and Moon, therefore, is a combination which gives to take. It puts it puts negativity in all the positive effects of Saturn. Now it depends which planet is strong. Saturn or Moon? Like Moon is very strong in the fourth house. I don't talk about science. Moon, like let's see the Kal Purush, uh, uh, you know, horoscope. So Moon is strong in the fourth house, but Saturn there. Will give you things of fourth house, which will give you luxuries. It'll give you a house. It'll give you. Uh, it'll give you a lot of things. But Saturn there will create issues like you know there'll be fire. Um, uh, there could be uh, uh, there could be issues uh, where which will create problems in a house. Uh, Saturn and Moon together always I've seen um, uh, creates issues with your uh, son-in-law with your. Uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, brother-in-law, uh, it also creates problems with your uh, with the elders. That is your uh, samdhi, which you call, you know, the the the, uh, the 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 place where your wife, or where your daughter is married, it will create problems with them. So these are three three four things which uh, Saturn and Moon always does. And Saturn and Moon is a combination. Which you know is like it'll, it. It. I have told you it will give you good money in third. It may give you fourth, ninth, twelfth, even in tenth. If Saturn is strong, it will give you good profession. But at times it will pull you down in the sense that you're carrying a sword, but you're carrying it, you know, uh, on the opposite side. It's not on the right side. I mean, it's not on the side where you can cut the cut a person's neck. But you know, you're carrying it on the side. Uh, you you hold it in such a way that it does not create uh, the impact. The sword does not create. The impact. So that is what happens when Saturn and Moon together. But you have to see which planet is strong. If Saturn is strong, Moon will give its negative result to the extent of one third. It will pull Saturn down. And if Moon is strong, Saturn does greater damage to Moon. Uh, I mean, you know, in terms of it will reduce the impact of Moon, which is half. So Saturn and Moon together as a conjunction uh, in certain houses like second. Third is like very good. Fourth, sixth, ninth, twelfth, tenth, and eleventh with caveats. You have to see how Saturn is placed. Now it depends on 
which are the planets which are looking at Saturn and Moon or expecting Saturn and Moon. I mean, I'm not talking about conjunction here. I'm more talking about aspects. So if Saturn is helped by his friends like Venus, uh, Rahu will create issues, other kinds of issues, Mercury. I mean, if it, if it is expected by his friend, it becomes stronger and gives you the impact of Saturn in that particular house. While Moon, if it is expected by Sun, Mars, uh, Jupiter, it becomes a strong. And Moon is a very important planet as far as I am concerned. And I have also always told you Moon is the planet for wealth, finance uh, uh, and uh, liquid money. Uh, it's, it's the most important planet. Next to Jupiter, it is the most important planet in the horoscope which actually makes the life flow and the flow of life is good or bad depends on moon so saturn and moon together one thing i would like to tell you is that it will it it by all means will does not give happiness the happiness quotient for sure is reduced if saturn moon is together if saturn moon is together it depends which planet is strong it will pull the other planet down now saturn and moon in 10th house uh, you know, will uh, give you a profession, but will you give you a profession which is a routine profession. It will not give you finance, it will not give you too much of money, it will not give you too much of liquid assets. You're doing a job, okay, you're doing it, you know, it's like 9 to 5, you come, do it at the end of the day, that's it. And of course, there are other plans depending on where you are placed, you know, I mean, what level you are placed will depend on the plan. So, that is what happens when Saturn and Moon are together. But again, to repeat, happiness quotient is always reduced to Saturn and Moon together. It is also not a good combination for uh, relationships with women, with your wife or with any lady. A person tends to spend money on other ladies. A person tends to have the tendency of having extramarital relationships. A person will have a tendency of uh, uh, having issues with the, uh, with. Uh, with the mother, the mother will not be happy. Saturn and Moon together definitely affects the happiness of the mother. Uh, she will have some issues in life for sure. And Saturn and Moon will affect part of the organ uh, where it is placed because Moon is water. And wherever Moon becomes weak, water increases in that particular part of the body. So, uh, again, fourth house, if Moon is weak, if Moon is strong there, your heart will be strong, your lungs will be strong. But your bones will be weak. So, you know, it, it, you have to see it uh, like that. Where, where What happens uh, in terms of your uh, your uh, your whole system? Like in Saturn and Moon in 6th house will reduce the quantity of water in your body. And if water reduces, there is an issue of uh, kidney. There is an issue of sodium reduction. A lot, a lot of problems would come in, in your life. So that is how health gets affected. Happiness gets affected. Uh, you are, uh, uh, you know, you you are you, you are not you don't enjoy life because it, Saturn and Moon together gives a negative Ketu. So you also don't get happiness from your children. Uh, basically, you will not get happiness from children when we Saturn and Moon are together. You will not generally be happy in life, irrespective of wherever it, it is placed. And uh, so, this is how you have to see this combination. It does not mean that you condemn the uh, uh, thing. It. It it will as I told you it will give you it may give you wealth in second third sixth ninth twelfth tenth eleventh everywhere it gives you money but with a lot of caveats three four things again to repeat uh, not good for happiness not good for woman relationships you tend tend to spend money on uh, your on other woman um, uh, not good for health wherever moon is uh, weak it will get increase the water in that place and so Saturn will have problem there it will create diseases to that effect. And the, the best combination to do in Saturn Moon is the remedy which I always see is feed snakes with milk. Feed snake with milk. Feed a snake with milk because you know Saturn Moon makes you a snake. It gives you a tendency of being a snake, and uh, you know it's and a snake is very unpredictable. It looks beautiful, but it may not be good. It walks beautifully, it goes beautifully, it looks beautiful, but you know it has it has no eyes. It has Mm, uh, it, it, it is very, very, very insecure. It can bite you at any time, you know. It has got no loyalty. So, you know, you, somewhere Saturn and Moon gives you uh, some snake-like tendencies. Again, it will depend on where it is placed. And this will also happen when, you know, let's say Moon is in 6th house and Saturn is in 12th house. 
uh, it may give you that tendency and you know some people do become uh, you know very tend to be very materialistic from inside but show that you know they're very religious because sixth and twelfth get involved so you know it gives you gives you the fraud gurus or the fraud people who exist so saturn and moon uh, has its own impact uh, though in vedic astrology it says that it, it, it you know it, uh, it dissects the mind it takes you away from your mind it makes you a thinker it could but there is a snake like element in whatever you think uh, in you know you, you could be a materialistic person inside a guru or anybody who's thinking about money but not talking about money you know? so you know you you tend to be different so that snake attitude always comes in when you know when saturn and moon are together happiness question will always be yes uh, a woman will not give you happiness for sure uh, not good for your mother uh, wealth it can give you at various places but that wealth gets destroyed it's not good for your relationships with your son in law if you have a daughter with your samdhi with your uh, with, uh, with your uh, i mean samdhi means jo aapke daughter hai uske unke parents i mean the parents of the daughter it's not good for that and uh, it, it 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 is it it it, it is a not a positive combination because if you don't have these things uh, it it does not but it's it's a camouflaging kind of a thing which in kalyuk uh, which uh, like saturn moon in 12th house i've seen people uh, saying that they don't need money they don't want money in this not useless to them but inside they you know they're craving for it they are you know they are uh, uh, there is a there, there there is there is a problem there you know so that is what uh, you know inside and outside does not match uh, so saturn moon is a very deceptive kind of a combination but two things are very sure which i have seen in hundreds of thousands of horoscopes quotient of happiness is not good wife relationships are not good and uh, it, it 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 doesn't really uh, it doesn't really make you a very good human being at the end of the day so that's what saturn moon is but don't condemn it in the sense that it does not give money it does not give anything it will again depend on which planet between saturn and moon is stronger in each house and that will modify the results i i, I always feel that if moon is stronger it is good than saturn be uh, strong so that's how you have to then again analyze it and use your skills of predictive astrology in coming to a conclusion I think it's a long video, twelve minutes, so I should end it. And uh, you can uh, know about me in my uh, in my website shankarstudy dot com. Shankar with the e. More about me. If you have anything which is rare, which you have uh, come across, some combination you feel surely comes right that I as I tell you, which can be applied. Please do write to me at connectingstars at gmail dot com. C o double n e c t i n g s stars connecting stars c o l n e c t i n g s t a r s at gmail dot com connecting stars at gmail dot com i've made this uh, for uh, this purpose okay so that you know i can read and that'll be great don't give me your date of birth waste time and tell me to predict but anything if you are an astrologer or actually there are so many people who are not practicing astrology but doing astrology as i do it for the love of it or you know those who have who know combinations and you know have not become the so called millionaire astrolog- astrologers or you know the uh, the lux dot beat with them as far as money is concerned but they know certain combinations please do share it that'll be great thanks bye for now thank you very much